What's up guys? Welcome back to Beauty with Tass. So today I will be showing you guys how to get curls that look voluminous and not to go all the same way. You want to make sure your curls have volume and definition and in this video I will show you how I curl my hair to get all of that. <music> Okay, first, I received this hair from K Beth Hair and I received a closure. This is just a 4x4 closure and the texture body wave. It looks really nice, has a nice little luster going on, and the lace looks pretty good as well. However, I did bleach and pluck the knots as well. Okay, and here are the body wave bundles that I received. As you can see, they look just as good and it has a nice luster and the bundles are really thick, like nice, thick, solid bundles and it has a nice luster to it just as well as the closure. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put the wig on my head and yeah, I just have like some old little twist going on. And as you can see, again, this is a closure, but we're going to get it to look very natural looking. And just looking at the hair, it has a nice luster to it. Of course, you can wear it in the body wave texture, but I love to curl my body wave hair because it just looks so good. And body wave hair holds a curl like to a T. But before I get started on the curls, I'm going to go ahead and flatten out my part a little bit more because all I did was take some mousse and put it in between my part and then put a scarf on. But what you want to do is make sure you take your curlers to flatten it out just a little bit more. So I'm starting off by curling my hair in the front and I'm using Olaxer curlers from, it's a company off of Amazon. I'll try to leave that link down below. So I like to start in the front and I like to take that first curl and curl it away from my face like towards the back so that I can have that like real deep swoop area. And look at this curl, so much bounce and so much body. Then I'll go ahead and grab another piece, comb that through and then go ahead and curl it in the same direction as the first one which is pretty much away from my face and then I like to grab hair as I'm waiting <laughs> and then comb that out and the third piece you want to actually curl towards your face you want to curl the opposite way that way all of your curls aren't going the same way so that over time like throughout the day your curls will clump together this way it all won't clump together in one way forming like two big Shirley Temple curls on the side, you know, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so then after that, I'll go back and curl away from my face. I pretty much do like two away from my face, one towards my face the opposite way, two away from my face, and then one towards my face. That way you're going to get all the curls going each and every different way, and you'll also have volume. You won't have like all those clumps just coming together. So that is a helpful tip for you guys. I tried it, and it works wonders, because usually I used to curl my hair all one way, like all one way on this side, then all one way on the other side, but that is wrong. You want to make sure that you curl it going opposite ways. And I seen this tip from um, Clifford from off of Instagram. He said, and oh my God, it has changed my life. Like my curls look so much better just by taking that one little tip and doing it that way. So here, that's how the curls are looking so far. So bouncy and look really good. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish curling the rest of my hair. Then after that, I'm going to take some free spray and put that on my part a little bit more because it's not as flat as I would like it. So I'm just going to take some of that holding spray and then go back with my curlers. And I like to put it in the front so I can have like that little swoop back so that it's not looking like too wiggish or whatever. And then I go ahead and just finger comb through the curls. Or you can take a while to comb. It's up to you. It's just like a little personal preference that you can choose. So just combing through the hair, well finger combing so that I can get those curls to look good. And of course you just want to try to do that throughout the day because you're, again your curls will kind of clump together but if you take these little tips 
then your curls won't clump all together going one way. And again, like I said, I did um, pluck this closure. And if you'd like to see a video on that, I will leave the link down below on how I pluck my closures so that you can get that real natural look just like this. And I also did it without any baby hairs because this closure was bald. It was really, really easy to actually pluck this closure. And as you can see, these bundles look just as good as the closure. So you guys, let me know what you think about this video and if you curl your hair going opposite ways or let me know how you curl your hair if you don't curl it all the same way. Um, or, you know, let me know if you try to curl it like this. Shout out to Cliff. And you guys, leave me a comment down below. Um, please thumbs up this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And definitely go check out K-Beth's hair. All right. Peace out.